Hey Pitmasters, what is up? Today we're going to be smoking beef ribs. So as always, the first thing that we're going to do is fire up our barbecue. Now we're going to smoke our beef ribs on the Big Joe. This is the way we set it up the last time. Now we're going to change it into a smoking setup. I'm taking out the cast iron grill grate. Now I'm going to check to see if I have enough charcoal. I can see that now I have sufficient airflow. Now we're also going to take out the ashtray. We'll add some charcoal. And I'm using big block. Just look at that. Right out of the bag, big block. And now we're going to fire up our barbecue. Now to smoke these beef ribs, we're going to add some hickory. I got a nice chunk here, good size, fist size, and we're going to put it in our heat source. We'll put the deflector plate on, and the grill grate. Now at this point, I want to make sure that my grill grate is clean. So I'm taking a wire brush, clean it off, and then some paper towel and olive oil to clean up that grill grate, making sure that we don't have any ash or dust on our grill grate. And as you can see, that was not unnecessary. Now we'll close the lid and let the barbecue come up to a temperature of 140 degrees Celsius. Now before we continue with our meat, I got a little package. So I guess it's meal time, let's open it up. Check that out. Sauces. Dolly sauces. So it's from Jeffrey Schroeder, Dolly Foods. Thank you for sending them over, brother. I'll definitely give them a try. Now, before we get this meat out, and I know you guys are gonna love this meat, we're going to prepare some black pepper. Because we need a lot of black pepper, I'm just gonna take some, put it in my coffee grinder, Because we want to have coarse black pepper, we grind it down ourselves just to get it to the size that we want to have it. Look at that. That's absolutely perfect for our beef ribs. We can already see through the package that the marbling is fantastic. In Dutch this is called Jacob's Ladder. It's Irish Sherwood grass-fed beef. We had this beef before, it was a tri-tip and it was so tender and so delicious. So I'm really excited about this. Just gonna dry off some of the fluids. We're going to clean this up. We got a little bit of silver skin here that we're taking off. So if you look at these beef ribs, they're absolutely gorgeous. We got a big fat cap on top. So we're going to take off the fat cap because we're going to smoke it. If you weren't smoking it and you were going to do it asada style, you definitely want to keep that fat cap on, score it, put on some salt, that's going to taste amazing. But in this case, we're taking it off. You can see here that there's a hard cut of fat here. We're not going to cut it down because it goes all the way down to the bone. We're just going to leave that on, otherwise we're left with nothing on that part. So we'll clean this up a little bit and then we're ready to go. I'm taking a Ziploc bag and I'm putting in all this good stuff. Maybe I'm going to put it in the freezer just to save it for another day. We'll put on a little bit of olive oil just to make sure that the salt and pepper will stick to the meat. There's another big chunk of fat down here. We're going to take that off as well. So now we'll put on salt. Because this is a big chunk of meat, we can use a lot of salt to make that beef flavor pop. Flip her over. To the sides as well. Now we're going to put on our pepper. And we want a liberal dose of black pepper. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Now it's time to put her on the grill. Open up our smoker. She goes in. And we'll say goodbye to her for at least five to six hours. Mm -hmm. 
After two hours, I added a chunk of smoke wood. Now we're at four hours and I just checked the temperature and we were up to 90 degrees Celsius. So we're getting close to that mark that we want to reach 92 degrees Celsius. So now we're going to probe for tenderness and see if it's done. Wow, that looks absolutely gorgeous. So what I mean by probe tender is we take a thermometer and we're not looking at the temperature gauge, but we're just feeling it. You know, there's the silver skin at the bottom between the bones, which is really hard. And if you can put your probe right to it, it's done. Also, we're checking on the top. It should be buttery soft. And that's just where, right where we are. This is done. We can get it off the grill, wrap it in fall, wait for an hour, and then we're ready to slice into it. Now we're getting a towel and put it on our tin foil. Oh, there we go. What a gorgeous piece of meat. Put it in our tin foil. Gorgeous. And then say goodbye. We're going to eat one hour later. Now, if this was a cold day, I would put it in a cooler box and keep it there for an hour. But now I'm just gonna keep it in my tin foil, set it aside, one hour later, we're good to eat it. Final moment is here. The beef ribs have been rested and they're still hot. So we're going to unwrap this. I'm so curious to see how good they are. Look at that. Look at that, that is freaking amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at these beef ribs, <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. Look at how juicy the outside bark is. That fat that rendered out. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Let's not wait any longer. Get out the super slicer and slice into this. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. We got a beautiful smoke ring on the outside. Nice red, nice bark on it, crunchy but still a little bit moist. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a dream come true. So we're going to slice into this right on that fat line. Let's slice this up. Let's take one of these out and do a quick taste test. Beef ribs are easy to make and they taste fantastic. That smoke flavor to go with the beef, salt and pepper. What more is it that you need to do to this? This is absolutely fantastic. Maybe you can have a great sauce to go with it, but I like my beef ribs like this. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. If you want to support us, hit that sponsor button. Until next time, keep on grilling.